you. What's good, guys? Medical Gamer over here, bringing you a Pokemon Sun and Moon video. This time, it's going to be on the Pokemon Sun and Moon train on the third video. I've done, uh, I think, on the previous two videos. I know I did at least on the previous one, but I wanted to keep with that tradition because I think that this is going to be the last train on video. Which is kind of sad. Like, it was kind of sad watching this video. If you guys get a chance, like, you might actually want to see the video. It's actually pretty nice. But anyways, I'm going to be going through the important stuff in here, things you might have missed, cool things, all the new stuff that you haven't seen before. So without further ado, let's get to it. By the way, now I actually have a monitor over there, over there on the left side. You guys can't see it, but it's a second monitor. So I can actually use that while I'm recording, like while I'm doing my screen capture. So like I'm looking over there and it's like, yo, I have the timing. So so at 106, that's the first timing that I know, noted down to go to. So let's go to like 105. So I'm just gonna play it right here. So over here, as you can see, you find an Alolan Vulpix, nothing, nothing really new there. But over here, I, I, okay, right here, okay, I just want to take you guys through this. So, if, as you guys can see, this is the Alolan Pokedex. So, number 17 is Caterpie. So, that means you have, of course, three of them, uh, nine of them is going, are going to be the starters, and then you have guys after that. So, I'm just going to show, like, the beginning of the Alolan Pokedex, because although we do have all the leaked Pokemon in the game, it does not actually specify the order that they appear in the game. It specifies the order in terms of, um like national dex entry but now for the alola dex you can see caterpie line is first and then we have lady bill line and then it kind of skips over here to the pseudo wudo line the chancy line then you have munchlax and snorlax you have the Slowpoke line you have the uh, wingle pelipper you have abracadabra alakazam all that magic and then you have the alolan meowth alolan persian and then there was the magnemite after that so just wanted to show off that little part right there and now I'm gonna keep playing the video because now is another thing that I wanted to show you guys which is that right here you just saw it used the leaf stone and it's using the leaf stone on the execute so that means that execute still uses a leaf stone to evolve into Alolan Exe uh, Executor which is the same as regular e Executor which leads you to believe that Alolan Vulpix will evolve into Alolan Ninetales with an ice stone which a lot of people have predicted before i'm just pointing out there now because you do still use a leaf stone for execute so it seems likely because you wouldn't use a fire stone for an ice type vulpix but anyways the next thing that's really interesting now i find this really interesting i don't know about you guys but as you can see this is i, I think his name is chargebug the second second one in the vickle vault line now you see it turns level 40 right here right and only now it evolves that is insane in the membrane that a bug pokemon one of the first bug pokemon you get in the game because watch look it is number 27 and number 28 or i guess number 27 28 and 29 that is crazy that the bug pokemon evolves at level 40 i don't know at least in in my memory i don't recall that many like if any bug pokemon that evolved at that high of a level maybe um uh, to get the Volcarona that might be like level 40, but that doesn't really even count because that's like That's not really like a regular bug Pokemon. Like it's like a special encounter So it's very different, but this is so cool that they're actually having a bug Pokemon evolve at level 40 That's even higher than the starters evolve. That is Ridiculous. All right, so next up we have 144 so I'm gonna show oh, actually I wanted to show this off too and Alolan Vulpix is going to be 253 and Alolan Ninetales is 254 So that means that you find the Vulpix and the Ninetales a little bit later on in the game Okay, so that's that now Let's go to over here where they're just doing some battles to so get that ice beam and here Breakneck Blitz. Now, this is what I wanted to show. This is the normal type Z move. We have seen it before, but now it actually has an English name to it. You can see it literally just flattens Tapu Koko, and that is the end of that. So, next up, we have at the three minute mark. So, let's go there. So, around here, they're basically fighting a bunch of guys to get their base back. You know, it's so epic. You guys should actually watch this video. It's really, really nice. So, he uses Z move, and right here, you guys are going to see the rock Z move for the first time. Minior is using it. And we don't know the name of it, but basically a giant rock just comes and it crashes down on the Silvali. And that is the end of Silvali. And he wins and all that good stuff. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you guys, which has to do with one of my theory videos before. So as you can see, they're trading Pokemon. Who are they trading? None other than Solgaleo and Lunala. So basically, what this is saying is that Solgaleo and Lunala... 
they have to be they they can't switch back and forth between uh like uh nebby or wait I, I forgot the name i forgot the name of the uh the the pre-evolution that just got released but i don't think it's a form change it seems like it has to be an evolution because how else are they trading Sogalia and lunala unless like i don't think that you can change it outside like just change it outside of battle i think that like it's in its dormant form you use that flute or whatever and then it becomes Solgaleo or it becomes Lunala permanently and that's that and you can see they're trading Solgaleo and Lunala so I don't think it readily switches forms I think that you switch it once and then that's it you're done you can't go back to the pre-evolution so it is basically an evolution if you think about it because you can't revert back to your old state a form change indicates that you would be allowed to revert back into a different form but this doesn't seem to be the case. So that's just my little two cents on this matter. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Leave a comment about what you guys think about this. I know that this video came out, I think, at the very beginning of yesterday. But I wanted to get this video out for you guys. Um, just because I did all the other train on videos. So I decided to continue with it. But that's about it for now. I'm going to get out of here. Peace.